anyways, let's just do a Gab and Get Ready With Me chit chat style video and let's hop in so you can see what I did to my face today <laughs> and what kind of makeup I'm going to wear for the day. And yeah, so let's go. So I'm just kind of feeling inspired to film a Get Ready With Me. I'm going to put on some chapstick and let's see here. I want to wear this Flower Beauty BB Cream because I haven't worn it in a while and it was kind of like placed in a weird spot in my makeup stuff so I like just saw it the other day and I was like wait a second I forgot that I had that. So I want to use some of this for my face makeup. I already applied a um, 30 SPF sunscreen moisturizer because I know we're going to be outside today. So I have two different shades of this. I have shade one and shade two, and it looks like I'm really running out of shade two, but I'm gonna mix it together. I haven't worn this in forever, so I hope that uh, the shades are okay. <laughs> we have been definitely spending a lot more uh, time outside lately since the weather's been halfway decent, so I'm getting a little bit of color, so I'm not as super duper pale as I usually am in the winter time. I love this BB cream though. I haven't worn it in forever. It has, I don't know if you would really even call it a BB cream. It's just like labeled a BB cream, but I don't think it really like has all of the skin benefits that a traditional BB cream has. But uh, it's, it's actually a decent coverage. It's not like super, it's definitely not like a super thin, uh, lightweight BB cream like you might normally find. I would call it kind of a medium coverage. Definitely more fuller coverage as far as like BB creams are concerned though. At least from the BB creams that I've tried in the past. I always feel like they're just kind of like a just a little bit of a lightweight like primer almost. Like a no makeup makeup kind of type of product. So yeah, I feel like I haven't uh, like done like a chatty <laughs> gap and get ready with me for quite a while. For concealer, the only one I have upstairs right now is my collection Lasting Perfection, which I know is a little bit light, but like I said, it's the only one I have available to me at the moment. I keep some of my makeup in the downstairs bathroom these days, so upstairs is not, I usually don't get to do my makeup here, up here in my room. So kind of my like second favorite stuff is all up here. As far as basics are concerned. I don't really do like a full face. I don't even remember the last time I wore like full foundation and everything. I'm going to set my face with some Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. For brows, I'm going to be using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I have mine in the color Espresso, which is a dark brown. I really need to look into other brow products. I kind of, like, this is my only, like, pencil, like this and, um, like, different brow mascaras. That's, like, all that I have right now. And I feel like I need a pomade. Like, I need to either pick up the NYX one or the... Anastasia. I just need something else. I feel like I don't have enough choices for my brow products. And I really feel like brow, um, like there's different stages of doing your brows. Like you can like go super duper natural with just a um, mascara or you can like kind of fill it in a little bit or you can do like heavy duty brows with like a pomade. And I feel like I need that heavy duty step some days. I'm just kind of missing that heavy duty step, I guess. So lately when I want my brows to be a little more pronounced, I'll use both this pencil and the tinted brow gel. Also, I kind of have a little bit of a cold, so if I sound kind of dumb, that's why. And the um, NYX brow mascara that I have is in Brunette. I am kind of torn between the brunette and the espresso shades from the NYX brow lines. I really like the espresso for like my natural hair color, but I also henna my hair to have like a red tint over my dark brown hair. So I kind of do like appreciate the redness from the brunette shade sometimes. I used to hate having any tint of red in my brow products, but since I've been hinting my hair more regularly, I think it goes pretty well. 
I think I'm just going to skip ahead and do my face. I'm going to use this Honest Company bronzer in Dusk Reflection. And this is just a really pretty bronzer, like, for actually, like, not for, like, contouring, but just for, like, warming up your whole face. It does have, like, a, a golden, like, sheen to it, you know? It's not matte, definitely not matte. Which is usually something I don't go for. I usually like to have more matte face products, but I don't know. I just I just really dig this in like the springtime when it finally starts getting like decent out. <laughs> this winter has been really crappy. <laughs> I just feel like oh, it's just such a nice breath of fresh air to have springtime finally here. And I do want a little bit of a contoury kind of little depth here, so I'm gonna use some Too Faced. Um, Chocolate Soleil, just kind of chiseling out the cheekbones. Cheekbones? I said cheekbones. Let's do a nice, summery, warm blush. This is Milani's. Oh my gosh! It was just a little brush that comes inside. I thought, I thought my blush had totally fallen out. This is Luminoso. Love this thing for warm weather. I haven't sat down and just like played with makeup in forever. It makes me feel so happy playing with all the color. It's so weird how something so simple can like really uplift your mood. I've definitely been suffering from some, I would call it, you know, like seasonal depression. Like this winter has been tough. I don't know if I've even updated you guys about it, but over on my mommy channel, Lena's Life, I do like daily vlogs and I talk motherhood and stuff like that. I do have two toddlers and I have definitely just been feeling blah. I've been staying at home with the boys a lot more um, since like mid-November I think is when I started staying home and like that was like the worst time to start being a stay-at-home mom because it's like so lonely. <laughs> Plus it's winter time and we can't like get out. Like I don't want to go out with all the kids when it's like 12 degrees outside right so this winter has been kind of tough being stuck with the tiny children you know not having grown-up interactions as much you know not going to work and talking to grown-ups plus the winter just being kind of sucky it's just been kind of hard so I've definitely had some seasonal depression and I can only hope that this nice spring weather will help draw me out of that beautiful I love that blush it looks so pretty okay all the basics are done, so now let's get into the fun part and do some eye makeup. I have no idea what I want to do. I have no clue. I got this new palette here, the Meet Matte Adore palette, and it's all matte, hence the name. Um, maybe we'll do something with that, something really basic. So first I'm just going to lay down some primer potion, like you do when you want your eyeshadow to stay nice and fresh all day. I'm gonna take this here base shadow brush by Real Techniques. This is a nice like one shadow brush because it's dense enough to pack on the lid but fluffy enough to blend out the crease. So this is like perfect. If you like just do basic, basic makeup, this is like a really nice handy brush to have on hand. So I'm going into Matte Bernard, which is just kind of a light, warm brown. And I'm gonna start putting that in the crease and see where it takes me. That's one thing anymore. I don't hardly ever like come and sit at my vanity and say this is the look I want to go for and create it. I just kind of like randomly pick a color and just start doing something and see what happens. I'm going to deepen up the lid and go in with this Matte Jones. I really really like this color. It's just like a really pretty, it reminds me of like a burnt sienna kind of color. I don't know. Is that like a name of a Crayola crayon or something that color name just that's what springs to mind when I see this and I'm placing that on the lid but also kind of more like toward the upper lid like in the crease as well I don't know I'm bad at describing <laughs> you can see I actually think I'm gonna pop that on this inner part of the lid as well and kind of leave that middle part a little more blank So it's kind of doing like a halo thing, like this outer part and this inner part. 
Then I'm gonna go in with Matte Williams, which is a darker brown, and I'm gonna deepen up that outer part a bit. And I do kinda wanna take that on this inner part too, so I'm gonna grab a smaller brush. This is just a brush from a Coastal Scent set that I've had for years. I'm gonna put that on the inner part of the lid to deepen that up too. And then just kind of sweeping it into the crease to create that like halo. I'm gonna go down on the lower lash line with that Jones color. I really, really like that shade. It's just such a pretty color. And like pulling it up back onto the lid just to marry the upper and lower eye areas together. And I want to use, okay, first of all, I want to do, what am I doing, what am I doing? I want to take some of this creamy color, matte Johansson. I'm going to put that on the inner corner to brighten that up. That looks really pretty. That's a very pretty color. I thought it would be a lot tamer, like a lot more, I don't know, I didn't think it would be so bright and white. It just doesn't look like super bright there. I'm also gonna take some under the brow bone. I've really only used this palette a couple of times, but I think I'm digging it. I found it at Ross for like 11 bucks, so it's probably like discontinued or something. <laughs> okay, so for the lid, I want to use, there it is, Kat Von D's Thunderstruck. You guys probably see me use this all the time, but it's like the perfect super shimmery gorgeous color so i'm gonna take that and pop it right on the center of the lid i love this color this eyeshadow is the best super simple but just like really brings a pop to the eyes i'm just gonna fill in my waterline with a nude liner this is nyx's wonder pencil and i'm not gonna do that on camera i'm gonna come down here and do it <laughs> I'm not gonna do any eyeliner, I'm just gonna keep it super simple and curl my lashes and apply some mascara. And I'll be using this Pacifica Dream Big Mascara, which actually like adjusts. Um, I'll show you here in a sec. The brush becomes bigger or smaller, depending on if you're looking for volume or length. So the brush can be nice and long like so, or you can twist this end and like scrunch up the bristles a little bit and get it more for volumization. So I want to go in with it all stretched out for lengthening and do the bottom lashes and then run it on the top lashes. Just do a coat or two with the lengthening side or the lengthening setting. And then pop it back in twist it to the volumizing setting and go back in for a little bit of volume. I've been digging more like brownie red-ish colors lately. So I'm gonna go in with Maybelline's Maple Kiss, which, which is exactly that, just kind of a brownie red-ish. Well, let me take my hair out of my fancy twisty turban thing <laughs> so that's it that's my makeup for the day i hope you guys enjoyed this little video gab and get ready with me so give the video a thumbs up if you did like it let me know what else you want to hear about here on this channel and i'll talk to you guys next time bye